What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today we are throwing these little tiny mag daughters. I believe they're four and an eighth. And uh, we're going for bluefish, light tackle, Shimano Stratic um, 3000 with an Airwave 7 foot. Uh, medium heavy I believe is what it is. And uh, 20 pound test, both main and leader. So we're going to be having some fun. Obviously we're catching fish already. This is going to be a good day. Super, super fun. And uh, everything's better with light tackle. Keep that in mind. Let's go. I'm regretting my <laughs> There we go. This this feels like the smallest fish of the day. Like, this is probably as big as Bob. That's how small this is. I don't even know if, oh, I still have them. Okay. What is it? Oh, it's a snapper. <laughs> Look at that little thing. So I switched over to the four and one eighth inch mag darter. I caught the smallest fish of the day. Come on. There we go. Nope, gone. Back on. Oh, I got some airborne action. Your turn. They feel a lot smaller. There we go. Another light tackle blue. The sun is angling lower and lower, and we're catching bluefish. Go hook us, just let him get the boat for more. So this is the best scenario right here. When it comes to bluefish light tackle, getting them outside of the face is a lot better than getting them inside of the mouth because they will chomp your leader, they will chomp your hooks. So we got little tiny blues, we're hoping for chunkers. These guys actually have sea lice. He actually had sea lice on him, so he just came in from, uh, from the ocean. That's cool, they're not cruising the bays, but like I said, we're throwing these little tiny mag darters 105F. So this is a floater 105, chartreuse on the top and orange on the belly. Let me teach you how to cast these bad boys and catch some fish. So there are a bunch of ways of throwing little mag darters, two of my favorite. I'm gonna take a cast. We're just gonna do little twitches. Twitch, twitch, retrieve. We're kind of just keeping up the slack so there's no slack in our line. Twitch, twitch, let it float, twitch, twitch. You can change it up, do one, let it float. Twitch, twitch. And the cool thing about these is they uh, they float back up. So this is the floater, like I said. So when you do the twitches, they're digging down, digging down, and then they float up backwards. So that's pretty neat. And uh, that's what I like. For this, blues, as I've said in many videos, blues will go after anything. So really, you can, you can reel it up, pause it, give it a twitch, twitch, reel, pause, twitch. Like you can really just do anything with bluefish. Another very versatile bait that comes in multiple sizes. So four inch, five inch, six inch, multiple colors. So those are the two different retrieves that I like with mag darters. The cool thing about them is they have this darter face to them which is gonna have them dig down and get that cool action and get down deeper than some other baits like the SQs. Doing the little twitch, twitch, retrieve, twitch, twitch presentation. 
Blues love action. That's why they go after the spoons, mag darters, SPs, top water. They are aggressive fish. So really, blues, bluefish are some of the most versatile action fish that you can get. It's a lot easier to drop bait for porgy or, or fluke or sea robins or stuff like that. But bluefish, if you want action and, and power fish, bluefish are, are really good. Especially for getting kids or, or someone into fishing that doesn't normally fish. Super easy to catch. Super fun too, especially with a light tackle. This little dude fights really, really well on light tackle. So even if you catch small fish, it's still a great fight. It's a lot easier for kids to work with seven foot rods as opposed to nine or tens or even eights. So light tackle, fun stuff. Even if you want to put on a, a heavier leader, just use light line and heavy leader. That'll work too. He's off. There we go. Right on the surface. Fun little fishing. He's, he's really staying on the surface here. I don't know if you guys can see it in the back. Nice little dude. Like I said before, the good thing about something like this catching blues as opposed to, let's say the spoons like we were using, or even bucktails, is this stuff has a, a way better chance of staying outside of the mouths and your leader line staying away from the bluefish. That is ideally what you want. You could lose a lot of money by fishing for bluefish. Still a good fish on light tackle. Mwah. This is why we fish with uh, leader material instead of straight braid. We're gonna have to change that. Another fish. Prime example as to why we like using, uh, I guess you can say plugs or lures that don't fit inside the mouth entirely. Because that, if that was a bucktail, most likely on light tackle, you would have lost that. Another beautiful little bluefish on light tackle, man. I can't, I can't stress it enough how cool and fun light tackle is, especially with these feisty little beasts. Mwah. Smooch and release. This was brand new and it's just completely butchered. They got teeth on them. Watch out. There we go. Another thing is try to find where the fish are. Chances are they're sitting in a rip or on the edges of the rips where there's bait fish chilling in the calmer areas next to the rips. Those are your high, high chance areas. That's where you want to start. After that, go searching. But once you find the fish, there's a chance that they're just going to be sitting there and you can catch more. Try to find those. Of course, bluefish like to run in schools. They'll run up and down rips and banks. So there's a chance that where you find fish, there might not be fish five minutes later because they ran up and down the beach. Not unlikely.
There we go. You hit way out there. It's got some cloud cover now. The sun went behind the clouds. It's not as baking hot anymore. I don't even need the sunglasses, but it's, it's beautiful out. Look at this. Look at this water. It's like, it's like glass. Slight little ripples. It's a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Catching bluefish on light tackle. Nothing, nothing like it. He's probably 31, maybe 32 inches. He's so thick. Got a big belly on him too, as opposed to some of these skinny ones. Air kiss, mwah, smooch and release. You didn't want the kiss. Let's go. That was a great fight. That was a good, good fish. So this little mag darter is doing it. Tins, mag darters, SP minnows, top water. Like I said, man, bluefish will go after anything. I even did, like I've told you before and you've seen the video, it's got millions of views. I used a teaspoon. I put a hook on a teaspoon and I caught a, a big old like 12, 13 pound bluefish. But hey, fun stuff. I got a 50 pound TA clip attached to my mag darter to 20 pound mono test and uh, FG knot or uh, Alberto knotted to 20 pound Power Pro braid. And the setup I'm using is a Shimano Stratic 3000 XG on a Airwave or Tsunami Airwave Coastal Series 7 foot medium heavy. So good, man. So good. Well everyone, I hope you learned something from this video, you enjoyed the action, and maybe you're gonna try some light tackle. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about fishing light tackle or anything in general about this type of stuff, let me know in the comments below. I'll respond to you, give you some tips and techniques from my experience and the experience of my friends. So I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. It help pushes, helps push these videos out, helps push the channel out, and we are able to do more videos like this with your help like that. If you really enjoyed it, share it with your friends, help them learn, and so that you guys can come out here and have a slate fest and catch a bunch of bluefish stripers. We got so much action for you guys. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button, hit, hit those bell notifications so YouTube doesn't skip you out on any of these videos. Really appreciate all the support. We're trying to hit 20,000 by soon. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Stay real, smooch and release. Have some fun on the water. We'll see you next time. We clap our love for the ocean I would be long gone by now It's some kind of divorce